Hey guys, how's it going? Alex Augit here from Brawl Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to make 3D extruded text in After Effects. Now, before we begin, know that this isn't true 3D that you can orbit around or anything, but rather a 2D layer um, that that appears visually to look 3D without the use of plugins or crazy render times or anything else, a super simple way to do it um, and to make it look really good. Now here's what we'll be doing today. Um, I first came up with this idea on my demo reel and I had a lot of people ask me about it so that's why I made this tutorial. Is this right here where it says my name, Alex Allgood. <laughs> But um, as you can see, it looks 3D and uh, very nice. I, I imagine with this text and this colors and everything, it looks like Inception. How many layers deep are we? Oh, yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm in After Effects CS 5.5, but that shouldn't really matter. Um, this, this should go all the way back to Pro 7. This is very uh, basic on how to do this. So let's get started. New... I will, of course, I'm in a new project. Everything's normal in a, in a standard works uh, uh, workspace. That's what I'm trying to say. And we're going to do a new composition. And we're going to do it 1080 um, HD. So we're going to go to HD 1080 at 29.97. Um, everything's good to go. And we're going to click OK. Here we are in our 1080 comp. Let's go ahead and just make our background a little bit more pleasing to look at. Um, so let's make a solid. You don't have to worry about what color it is. But go ahead and make the solid, and let's, oop, I touched my mic. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and type in ramp right there. So drag that on to our solid, and over here in the effects controls, go to radial ramp. And then we're going to drag this one with the black right in the middle, so it makes that. All right, and we're done. Just kidding. That looks awful. Um, we're going to turn the white one black. And then the the one that was black, we're gonna turn it a dark blue. Um, maybe that kind of blue, but it's kind of too concentrated in the middle. So I'm just gonna drag this out all the way till it's like that. You know, I might even bring the blue a little bit further down, just like that. You know, not solid black, just a little bit more pleasing to look at. So that's our background. Now let's go ahead and make our text. So we'll go up here to the toolbar, click the big old T for text, and we're going to type something out. In this case, I'm going to write out my name like I did in my demo reel. Alex Allgood. Bah, 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 bah. We're going to select it, and now the character palette pops up. And we're going to go to our font. Um, I recommend finding your own font on websites like DaFont, um, and that way it is truly original. Um, like I have, and I use this for my, uh, for whenever I have to type my name anything. It's called Telegraphico, and it looks really awesome. Um, now, one of the keys to really getting this effect to look good is find a text that you can do in all black. Like, if, if say, you can't find a text, use Arial Black. It should be on every operating system by default. And that's a really good font for this because, as you can see, the font itself makes a perfect rectangle, like like P's, when you type in a P, won't, you know, oop, touch the mic again, a P won't stick out from the bottom like this, it still stays in the same dimensions of everything else, it doesn't extrude down, like a G, a lowercase G would stick down, but in this case it doesn't with this specific font, and that's what you want, you don't want anything to stick out or anything, because that'll kind of lose the effect. So, this is a really good font, and like I said, if you can't find any, use Arial Black. It is really good. Alright, so, um, basically, center up your text however you want it. And this is how you make it 3D. Let's uh, click Command-D on, uh, on the keyboard, and let's duplicate it five times. I guess duplicating it four times, but makes five layers. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and, or just so it's easier, I'm going to organize these backwards to where our main text is on top. So it goes 2, 3, 4, 5 as we go down. Now, go ahead and shut the layers off for all of those. And let's turn on just Alex Allgood 2. Um, and we're going to click S on the keyboard. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and go to all the transform properties. And we'll just go on this little arrow, pops all these up. And let's scale it down to say... Mm, 
96. And we will uh, um, we will go down by fours because you have to make everything even or else it's going to look really odd. So now you can kind of see where we're going with this already. This is technically, I guess, going to be our back layer. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and... Ooh, wow, I am not good at this today. I keep on hitting my mic. Let's go ahead and bring it up to 98. That seems like it's going to be a little too much. Um, wow, you know what? In this case, let's go ahead and bring it to 99. And then we'll click S on Alex Allgood 3. Go 98. Oh, got to turn it on. Okay, that's what's going on. Um, we'll go to Alex Allgood 4. Turn that on. And we'll go to 97. It's it's kind of repetitive. Uh, remember to turn it on. Alex Allgood 5. Go ahead and turn that on first. Click S on the keyboard for scale. And we will go to what I believe, 97, 96. So what we had originally is now our furthest layer. So you can kind of already see the effect we're getting here by scaling it. It brings in both sides, and it just creates this awesome effect. Um, but you know what? Now that I realize <laughs> the uh, the stroke is turned on in all these layers, which I didn't realize before. So if anything like this happens, click Shift on the keyboard, hold it, click the top Alex, and that'll select all of them. And we'll just go over here to the stroke and turn it off to zero. And there we go. There is our 3D text. Um, so on certain letters, you're going to see some deformation. Like uh, specifically, if you hold A, if you zoom in and hold H on the keyboard, you can scroll. Specifically on the A with all these points. Super obvious and uh, <laughs> just looks awful. So to fix that, we're going to go into our layer. Oop, layer, solid. We're going to make a white solid and click OK. Go ahead and turn that solid off. Now, on the A, we're going to get the mask tool and go from this corner to this corner and then just follow the shape down like that. So now if we turn off the masks, turn it on, should be fixed. Looks crappy now, but we'll fix that part later. Go ahead and turn that off. Um, we will look for anywhere else, zoomed in, of course, that we might need it. Maybe on this E, or L, rather. Need to go back to kindergarten. Um, probably on the E as well. Um, same thing. This gets a little tedious, but something you have to do when you cheat the effect like this. Oop, messed that one up. And back on. That E looks fine. The X might have it bad. So it just depends on how OCD you are, but for the most part, most of these should turn out pretty good. We'll go ahead and go there with the G. Like that. You could definitely adjust a lot more on this, but for the case of the tutorial, I'm just going to do the D real quick, and we should be done. So now we just have those little effects fixed. I'm going to take that off, and you can see it, for the most part, from this view, it might just be my monitor, um, has that effect we need to pre-compose the layers so we can color them differently. So we know that the Alex Allgood is our first layer, so we're gonna drag that on top. That's our main text that we look at. Now we're gonna take the white solid in all the bottom Alex Allgood layers, and we're gonna click Shift-Command-C, and that brings up pre-compose. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you can just go to Layer, Pre-Compose. There we go. And we want to move all the attributes to our new composition. So we're going to call it 3D. 3D text, since this is essentially the 3D part of it. Now, here we have that. We can turn the Alex Allgood on and off. Basically, 3D on, or off, 3D on, boom. Now, if we double click on the uh, now pre composed layer, it brings up the new layer with everything inside of it. And essentially, what we want to do is color it. So now that this is all one text, um, we're going to go back our original 3D text layer, um, our pre-composed one that is, and you know, we'll just add a ramp there. Already have it up. Add it straight to there. And boom. It, it uh, forms everything together 
and it looks oh touch the mic again ah, it's just not my fault guys not just not today um and it uh really puts everything together also the ramp can make a great 3d style effect so we're gonna go here we're gonna actually switch these colors so that way in real life shadows are on the bottom rather than the top so I love like that um, that looks pretty good and you know what we might even copy it over to the original Alex Allgood layer but then adjust that one to be a little bit brighter what I've learned what really helps this effect is to have your main text like the main 2d Alex Allgood layer to be a little bit brighter than the 3d text so that helps a lot um, we'll go ahead and switch these we don't want such a ramp on the Alex all good just a nice little gradual one so it's not solid white because that never looks good um so there there's our basic form of it um and here we go into the advanced part uh, this is all about creating the shadows because you have to think about this in a real aspect and certain parts of the letters won't be fully lit that is because you know it's 3d so it's gonna have shadows so to make shadows I found this simple way of creating a solid of course making oop I got a text every tutorial I get a text it never fails so you can make a black solid um, go ahead and turn it off and then we will mask over the parts we'll go ahead and take off Alex all good as well actually you know what? we'll keep it on um, we'll mask over the parts that we think will create a shadow. So, probably inside this A. And since we are Alex Alga layers covering it up, you don't have to be too precise with these. So, right there probably is... Um, I don't want to get too into it because... Um, for the sake of the tutorial. So, maybe from like here to here. Up over here. Over here to there on the E. Same thing for down here, even though you can't really tell, but we'll do it anyway. Um, definitely on the X, um, this will really create a nice line through the middle of the X right here, which gives it really, really sells the effect. Um, we'll do that again on the A. G, definitely. Um, I could, I would of course do up here and a little bit down here as well but again tutorial um, so we will do the inside of the O's that's a must um, sorry if this is just getting crazy tedious while I'm doing this I'll tell a joke why'd the chicken cross the road I don't know either I'm not very good at jokes uh, sorry guys I, I really screwed this one up I hope you guys can forgive me. Kind of messed up that mask, but it should be fine. Oh, gosh. I'm just not good today. Okay. So, finished up all the shading layers. Um, let's go ahead and turn on our black solid. Boom. There we go. There's shadows. Just kidding. Could you imagine? Hit the mic again. Oh, wow. Wouldn't expect that. All right. We're going to click T on the keyboard. Brings up our opacity. We're going to bring it down. Way down. Because, of course, shadows aren't pitch black. They're just a little darker. So... I would say around 40 to 30 uh, percent in this case. I would say 20 to 30. Put it on 30 percent, and that really helps it. Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn the. Oh yeah, if you turn it on and off, you can really see the difference. And of course, you can adjust this. Uh, of course, make it different colors. Uh, this, that's the good thing about After Effects. This is all customizable. Try not to do it the exact same like I do. Make it original, put colors, use different text, maybe even extrude the text even more, extrude it less, do more layers. Um, and uh, it's all about creativity, you know? But uh, for the most part, that is it. Maybe we can put a drop shadow on the whole thing. If I can spell. Put it on the 3D text. Um, probably don't want it to come out too far because it's just that, just a little bit of ambient occlusion. Um, just around the text like that. And then if you want to get really serious, put a make a reflective surface and have it reflect off, or even 
a drop shadow that reflects onto something. Um, you can check out videocopilot.net for more tutorials regarding those aspects. But here we are, 3D text, looking good. Um, impress all your friends, show your mom, show your sister, heck, even show your dog. He's going to like it, you know. It's going to be like giving him a bone. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, anything, leave a comment below, or better yet, send me a PM. And as usual, if this tutorial helped you out, post a video in the, as a video response. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. And again, the second, as usual, subscribe. I make tutorials all the time. Thanks, guys, for watching, and just have a great day from me.